Today, y'all, it's all about leftovers. My good friend Mitch and I are taking leftovers to a whole new level, y'all. We're turning last night's dinner into two fabulous creations. It's a chicken Caesar pita pizza and a divine poppy seed chicken casserole. Look at this. Yum. Then Mitch makes us his all-time favorite leftover, y'all. It's pretzel mashed potato bites with a mustard dipping sauce. It is outrageous. And don't forget to leave room for dessert because we've got grilled French bread dessert sandwiches. God, I love coming to your house. I am in here in the kitchen today with a very much loved personal friend of mine and Michael's, Mitch Pennell. And Mitch is a genius with leftovers, y'all. First, we're gonna start off with our poppy seed chicken casserole. I had some leftover poached chicken and Mitch is slicing that up for us. I've got two nice fat portabellas that I'm gonna just slice off. Tell everybody what you do. I have a non-for-profit organization in, in Chicago. We basically scour the alleys and the dumpsters and the trash and... My kind of shopping, <laughs> baby! <laughs> any place we can find discard and things that have, have sort of lost value or are no longer wanted, we repurpose those into beautiful accessories and home furnishings and like the pieces I brought today, beautiful mm -hmm. serving pieces. Uh, those look delicious. Don't I they love, look delicious? I love portobello mushrooms though. And you are slicing that chicken just beautifully, well, Mitch. Thank you. All That's right, a... now I'm gonna add an eight ounce carton of sour cream. Yum. Mitch is crushing us up, y'all. One sleeve of butter crackers and I'm adding a can of cream of chicken soup. All right. So those mushrooms are working their way into that sour cream, Mitch, and that cream of chicken soup. I've got probably about a half a cup of slivered almonds, and I like those so much better than I do the sliced. Now I'm gonna add a tablespoon of poppy seeds. Our little individual casseroles are gonna have just a little buttery crunch topping Yum. that we're gonna put on them. So just that simple, we have taken this leftover poached chicken and turned it into almost like a chicken divan. Yum. Only it's got mushrooms instead of broccoli. May I taste it? Please stick your finger in. Mmm. So American, isn't it? That's yummy. All right, so I'm gonna add the butter, about okay. two tablespoons of melted butter okay. over the buttery crackers, and that's gonna make our top crust. All right, now we've got some little individual casserole dishes down here, so we're gonna personalize them. I, I love that idea because it makes someone feel special that oh they get gosh, their little individual yes. casserole at the table, you know? All right, I'm gonna put the chicken, chicken in. And I'm gonna finish this crust up. And just that quickly, we're ready. You ready to roll? Yeah. I'm just gonna coat that chicken with that sauce. Oh, that looks so good, Paula, oh, just like good? that. And you did a magnificent job well, of slicing that you, chicken. Well, thank you, thank you, thank you. What can I say? <laughs> we ready <laughs> so to go? come on down here, yes. All right, let's load let's these Let's move this up. over here. And I'm just gonna load this up with our casserole ingredients. I've got some cute little casserole dishes, so it makes it kind of special, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, it does. I love right. it served that way, Paula. So, Do you want these fully and, covered with the crust, Paula? Yeah, don't you think? Yeah. We are... I'm just gonna use my hands. Yes. Kind of like that. You know, the best tools that you can have in your kitchen are the tools that God gave you. And that's right. those hands. All right. So we're gonna cover these, y'all, with tin foil, and we're gonna bake them for about 15 minutes covered, and then we're gonna take the foil off and cook them for uh, like another 10 minutes. And that'll brown them off, right? Yeah, so that'll crisp up our, our crackers and kind of brown them off. Mm. How's that mm, look? Mm, mm, mm. All right, Beauty. let me slap some foil on yes. here. Just like that. Matt. And I think we are ready we to are in in the oven. 
All right, what's this oven set at, Paula? It's set at 350. Great. Remember, 15 minutes covered, 10 minutes naked. <laughs> <laughs> and in we go. Coming up next, wait till you see what we do with some leftover mashed potatoes. I love the way they're frying up. And then Mitch and I prepare individual chicken Caesar pita pizzas. The hot pita mm. with the fontina cheese is the bomb. Mm. And later, we're carrying our leftovers through dessert, y'all, with these wonderful grilled French bread sandwiches. I so hope y'all are enjoying the show. And if you do, be sure to click like, subscribe, and the notification bell so you'll never miss a video. And we'll be right back after the break. All right, Paula, I have a really special recipe to share with you. You do? Um, these are called pretzel potato bites. You're gonna start here with four cups of leftover mashed potatoes. Okay. And these are just a homemade, just homemade mashed peeled potatoes. mashed potato. And you're gonna add about a half a cup of flour. Okay. To that, you're gonna add an egg. You want that consistency to be just a little bit pasty, just like you're making a, a potato pancake. Right. Okay. And then you wanna add a, about a tablespoon of mustard. Okay, and I'm just gonna eyeball this, Mitch. Absolutely. And I again, think that's I know what to, a tablespoon looks like after. 100 Some years others, in the know, kitchen. If, if, absolutely. <laughs> now, in the meantime, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to start dipping sauce of these. We're going to do about a half a cup of mayonnaise. Okay. That's where we're going to start. I like it already. Then we're going to add, oh, about a tablespoon of the spicy brown mustard. Okay. I've got this mixed up, Mitch. So would you like for me to do something with these pretzels? That's the secret ingredient there. Okay. So you're going to crush those pretzels up. And how fine do you want them, um, baby? They need to be pretty fine because you, you want to use okay. them basically just as a breading. We're going to take the uh, potato batter, we're going to uh -huh. roll that in the pretzel crumbs, okay. and then we're going to dunk them in that baby right there. Okay, well I'm going to let the air out of this pretzel bag. All right, and I'm going to finish up our dipping sauce here. Okay. I put about a half a teaspoon of horseradish. Okay. We'll finish that off with about a half a cup of sour cream. Sorry to put you to so much work. Well, you may have to help me with these pretzels. <laughs> All right. I'm getting a workout over want here. To, want me to get over there and roll I it a little bit? I have worked this hard since back before the war. <laughs> yes. All right. Let me give it some muscle action here. What little I've got. Okay. <laughs> you want to put your pretzels now in our dish. All right. I would like for you to do the first one. All right. I don't know how, well, how big you want. Well, my bites might be a little bigger than your bites. What we're going to do is you're going to just bread that a little bit. So I will just dollop those. And I'll get going with this first one in the fryer and here. And random spots on our pretzels. Are you ready? Yeah. There we go. All right, you got your all on 350, but how long are we gonna? Well, what you wanna do is you wanna fry those these. till it starts to float mm -hmm. and it is a nice, just a nice golden brown. Okay. Um, I would say probably in the neighborhood of, of two, two to three minutes. Okay. See how they're starting to float there? They're coming to the top. And I'm kind of laying them on the edge of the deep oh, fryer, honey, and letting them there you go. kind of just roll in. You can also uh -huh. do these just in a plain old black iron skillet. Yeah. And they're great that way because they get a little more of a, a sort of a, a black crust on them uh -huh. like you do when you, uh -huh. when you make uh, potato pancakes. These are doing fabulous in deep Yeah, grease. look how beautiful those are. Oh, look at this. You'll want to jump back oh, and kiss goodness. yourself when you get that, this that, in your mouth. That looks like our hush puppies, Look Mitch. at it. I think those those uh, chicken casseroles are about finished. Should you have been worried them? about those chicken I can't casseroles, wait to have taste you? Of those. Let's check that we'll out. We'll take them out of the oven, honey, and I'll wash up my hands, and we'll taste those little casseroles and these potato bites at the same time. Yum, look at mm, that. Mm, 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 mm. Love, love, love the idea of the pretzels, Mitch. Let me grab this dipping sauce. We've got that all ready to okay, go. Okay, well, we got three more that's just all right. kind of laggers here. There we you go. You get a plate and uh, right. put a couple of potato bites on it and some sauce on the side for dipping. Oh, gosh, yes. You ready to eat up? Yes, sir. 
Mm-mm-mm. Mm-mm-mm. Mitch, look at this. Yum. Look at that portobello mushroom, y'all, and that piece of chicken. I'll go if you go. Oh. <laughs> wow. Hot. Mm, but it's so good. Mm. Oh, I love those butter crackers with the mm, I crust. I do too. Don't you? Well, oh, I'm gonna try them. This is this is this is what I wanna try. Don't you love that pretzel? I adore this. Y'all don't go anywhere. Coming up next, we prepare some mouth-watering chicken Caesar pita pizzas. Yum! <laughs> and later, we need a dessert, don't we? So we're making some top-notch grilled dessert sandwiches. I hope y'all are enjoying the show. And I want to hear from you. Tell me what recipes or videos you'd like to see me make by just leaving a short comment below. Now, let's get back to the show, y'all. Y'all, I've got one more chicken breast left. So I thought, let's make some chicken Caesar pita pizzas. I've got some Fontina cheese, y'all, that I'm gonna grate. Mitch has got our pitas. And I'm painting these up with a little bit of olive oil. Mm -hmm. And then we're gonna, going to uh, sprinkle a little bit of your cheese yes, on top of them and stick top. them in the oven for a little bit. There you go. And then we're gonna make a nice Caesar salad and we're gonna put on top and then we're gonna put a little bit of our poached chicken. I love working with anything leftover. I don't know what that is about me. <laughs> uh -huh. And that's one reason I love what I do so much with Chicago Lost and Found because where most people see junk and trash, I see beauty, which is bizarre, but that's exactly what, what well, I see. What is that saying? Another man's trash is, is another, another man's, man's treasure. treasure. That's exactly right. Well, for instance, you know, I can't wait that beautiful uh, serving tray that I brought for you today. Oh my gosh, And by the way, that's a gift to you. That's gonna go in your yes. lovely dining room when we're yes. finished with yes. it. Let's get this in the oven. Here. And we're gonna melt that cheese in our 350 degree oven. And that should only take just a few minutes. If you would mix up the Caesar dressing, I'm gonna start making up the salad. And this lettuce looks good. All right, so I'm gonna start here with about, oh, about a half a cup of olive oil. You know, Caesar dressing is interesting too. You can sort of make this to your own taste. If Absolutely. You, then I'm gonna add about a tablespoon, maybe maybe up to two tablespoons of the Dijon mustard. You know, some people don't like anchovies, and so- Oh, you, I love anchovies. I know that some people do not like them, so you have some places that serve Caesar with no anchovies. Always put some hot sauce in, because I like it a little spicier. And again, this is to taste. And then we'll add a teaspoon of the Worcestershire sauce. Okay, easy for you to say. <laughs> right. And we'll whisk that good. And my salad is gonna be very, very simple, like a Caesar salad should be. Uh, we're not putting croutons in it because we've got our pitas, which is our, our bread You know ingredient. they call that simple salad honeymoon salad. Did you know that? No, I didn't uh -huh. know that. Let us alone. Let us alone. I get it. Have you never heard that? No. Uh, I think that's an old restaurant. Let us alone. Well, I can't believe that. I can't believe being in the restaurant business that I hadn't heard that one. I'm going to mince a couple of cloves of garlic. Oh, yay. I'm going to just sprinkle this with a little salt and a little pepper. And I'm, and I'm going to take our, and I promise y'all, this is the last of the chicken. <laughs> no, <laughs> no more, more chicken. <laughs> leftover chicken, no. So I'm gonna take our chicken and I'm gonna just slice it and we'll use this to top off our pizzas. Now I'm gonna check on our pitas. All right, let me help you out with those. Okey -doke. Look at gonna, this. Oh my gosh, those, <laughs> I could There's eat that by pretty itself. pretty good uh -huh. leftovers. I could too. Let's go right All right, here. can I sit it. those right you may, there? You may. I'll squeeze out of your way. All right, now I'm going to slice up this other tomato. Okie dokie. I've diced a couple of anchovies, and we're going to squeeze of a Caesar. little bit of lemon over that. Anchovies are very, 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 yeah, very are. salty. All right, you ready for me to dress this thing? I'm going to get us a pita. All right. 
And this is gonna be a fabulous pizza. Let me help you out here. Yes, yes, yes. And if you want to dress our salad. How does that look, Paula? Perfect dressing? That, that looks delicious. All right. And I'm just gonna take my tongs and go. toss that. Oh, that looks beautiful. Looks wonderful. And now I'm just gonna put this on our pizza. I could eat it just like that, but I can't wait to get the chicken on it. I know. The last thing that's chicken. gonna go is her chicken. Look how oh, beautiful look how that looks. Oh, pretty that is. Isn't that beautiful? It's gorgeous, just like you. No, just like you, in the shadow of your beauty, Paula. <laughs> Everybody's pretty, don't you know that? No. <laughs> now, how are we gonna eat the sucker? I don't know. Are we gonna, very, very are we gonna, carefully. I'll tell you what, you could almost eat this Greek style I like know. a pita and fold that sucker in half. How you know what, that? let's just try it just like this. Here we go. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Yum! <laughs> so delicious. Right? <laughs> right. I can't wait to get home and make <laughs> this, yeah. Paula. This is delicious. It is so good. The hot pita mm. with the fontina cheese is the bomb. Mm. Don't go anywhere because it's leftovers galore today. And I'll show you what I'm talking about when we come back. Coming up next, leftovers like you hadn't seen before. Grilled French bread sandwiches. I so hope y'all are enjoying the show. And if you do, be sure to click like, subscribe, and the notification bell so you'll never miss a video. And we'll be right back after the break. Y'all, for this leftover show, we need a dessert, don't we? Mm -hmm. So, now we're gonna make some grilled French bread dessert sandwiches, y'all. Got a handful of strawberries. I am gonna just sweeten those with a little sugar, a little warm water. Now, I've got your bread going. Is this how you want it, Paula? That's exactly All how right. I think it will work well, I wonderfully. Want to please you, that's for sure. Well, honey, you <laughs> please me by being here. All right, I'm gonna let this water run and get hot. Now, I'm using just a little hot water, y'all. I want that sugar to dissolve. And I wanna make strawberry syrup. That looks so good. I just wanna tell y'all about the tray that he made, y'all, that is so incredibly beautiful. If you look at it closely, it's got chips and chunks out of it. Uh -huh. And of course, it's got that beautiful patina where and the silvering- And who cares? The silvering has, you know, is deteriorated in places. We try to take the usual and turn it into the unusual. Your favorite thing was about that tray was the old wooden spools we used. Every time I look at it, I will think of you, Mitch. Uh -huh. All right, so let me catch y'all up on what I'm doing down here. I have buttered one side of our uh, slices of bread and that buttered side is gonna go down on our grill. On one side, I have put a marshmallow cream. On the other side, I have put a chocolate hazelnut spread mm. that I had in the refrigerator. And I'm putting two slices of bananas. I love that already. Onto this bread. And then we're gonna sandwich them together. You can see I've got chocolate on one side, marshmallow cream on the other. Mm, mm, mm. And that these so go good. together like this. The outside is buttered. I'm gonna start to put those on our grill. You know what, Mitch? I believe I've got leftover ice cream. Let me check. Oh, well, I made some the other day for a show. Run, don't walk, Paula. Get over there and see. Just cross your fingers and hope there's some left in here. You need some help? Yes. Look in there. Pray it's vanilla and pray there's some in there. Yes! I knew you could. Are you ready? Yes. <gasps> is it vanilla? <gasps> it is vanilla, y'all. <laughs> and there's enough. Perfect. Now, All right, I don't want to burn our sandwiches. I don't want you to burn your fingers. Look at this. Fingers of steel. Look at that. Oh, doesn't that look great? Who in their right mind would say, I don't want leftovers? All right, baby, oh, I'm just gonna, go. I fixed just two oh, a piece. Oh, wow. 
Yeah, because I'm hungry. All right. Ready for Don't that you ice put cream? It. Yes. Mm -mm -mm. Let's go. There you go. Yes. I can't. Oh, that's so good. There we go. All right, here you go, Mitch. And I gave you some syrup. Just some of that little simple syrup. I love that. Over that. Well, I've All right, did I been, give you a yeah, spoon? I've, here. I've always been accustomed to them being mashed slightly with sugar. Isn't that Open beautiful? Up. I can't wait to dig in. I can't this. either. I can't either. You know, and if you didn't want to put the strawberries, you could serve them just up. like this, you know, as a finger food. But since we've got the ice cream and the berries, that would be a little hard, but let's try it this way I'm first. I'm it this way. Mmm. Oh, that is so good. <laughs> God, I love coming to your house. Can mm. I come back? Mm-hmm. Anytime. So, what do y'all think about leftovers now? Mm. I love leftovers. Leftovers are not half bad, are they? Thank you, Mitch. You're, you're welcome to come here anytime. Thank you, darling. Because I know your leftovers are always going to be very, very special. Thank and you. I hope that you found my leftovers special oh, today, too. They were the best. Hey, y'all. It's Paula Dean. Now, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like it and click the subscribe button as well as the notification bell to be alerted when I post a video. Love and best dishes, y'all.